Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about how to restore a database from command line that is from dumb.sql file. So currently in the screen, you are seeing Odoo version 13 and I have got a database named db underscore test. So first of all, what I will do is that I will just back up the database from the web database manager. So I'm going to take the backup of db underscore test. So I click on the backup button and I will you have two options that is zip includes file store allow pg term with custom format. So I'll just download the zip format and I'll click on the backup button. So you can think system is getting loaded and once after the this loading is completed you will get a zip folder that is the backup of the database named db underscore test. You can see I'll click on OK. So you can see it will get downloaded so if i go to the downloads folder you can see this is the backup that we have downloaded so i'll just click on it i click and just extract here itself so this is the database and here i have got file store dumb.sql and manifest.json so we will see how we can restore the database using this dumb.sql file so first of all what you have to do is that currently i have dumb.sql file inside this path so from here i will open the terminal so you can see I have opened the terminal here. So first of all, what you have to do is that you have to log into the Postgres. So for the purpose, sudo su Postgres. So by typing this, you can log into Postgres. So that's done. Then what you have to do is that you have to create a database. So currently we have got a database db underscore test. So we have to first of all we have to create a database using command line, and then we will restore that download SQL file into that created database. So you can create a new database using the command create db create db space minus o has to be given minus o then you have to specify the database owner so currently the database user of my odoo 13 is odoo 13 database owner then you have to give a name for the database db test restore i'll give the name as db test restore so what I'm going is first of all I have logged into the Postgres sudo su Postgres then create db space minus capital letter o space database owner that is odoo 13 and you have to give for name name for the new database so that's done then what you have to do is that you have to restore the dumb.sql file into this database so the command is psql you have to give the database name db test restore and this simple dumb.sql that has to be given so you can see the commands getting executed that is the the sql file is getting added into the newly created database that is odoo 13 so currently in the screen you are only getting one database that is db test so once after this process is completed you will have two databases here that is db test restore will also get added here so let's see or oh, let's wait until these restore get completed so this simply you can how you can restore a database from dumb.sql file so if you have any zip for backup you just extract it here itself and if you open that folder you will have dumb.sql file so you can see dumb.sql file so then you can open the terminal and then you can log into the postgres using sudo su postgres so you have logged into the Postgres. Then you have to create a database in which you have to restore that backup. So for the, that command is create db small letter create db space minus capital letter o. Then you have to specify the database owner. That is for in my case it's odoo 13. So I have given the database username is odoo 13. Then you have to specify the database name new database name that you are going to create so i have given the name as odoo 13 restore then just click on enter button now you have to restore that dumb.sql file into that created database for that you can use the command psql database name db test restore less than bracket then dumb.sql file so that's all we have done in this video so let's wait until this restoring is completed so let's see if i reload the screen here you can see test db restore is generated already here so let's wait until all this process is completed here in the terminal so let's wait you can see all the table all the tables are getting restored into the new database from the dumb.sql file creating index 
so it's almost done so that's why you are seeing creating index so let's wait until everything is completed so create index so just as we have the time we can see what's there inside the dumb.sql file if i open the dumb.sql file and if i open it open gedit let's see what comes inside a dumb.sql file so this is what you have got inside the dumb.sql file so if i scroll down you can see different columns in the database and i can scroll down so this is what you have got inside the dumb.sql file so let's check what happens inside the terminal so it's still getting alter table so you can just wait until the whole things are completed so we'll start from from the first come and create sequence alter table different things are getting executed so you can see everything is done so let's go here and i'll just reload the screen and if i click on the database this db test restore yes, there is some issues yeah it's file store issue we haven't copied you can see file not found error home local share over the file store db test restore that's missing file store so we have we can got the folders here file store folders here you can just copy this so where i have to put it is that so if i check the pycharm i will got my error message file not found error local share odoo so i have to navigate to that path that is i will just minimize the screen and if i move it here cd i'll just copy this path I'll just copy this path i'll just copy this path copy and in the terminal cd permission denied so i have to use sudo sorry i first of all i have to exit the postgres user for this purpose okay i'll just exit the postgres by typing exit command okay from the postgres i have exited so also i will add sudo so am i not found sudo yeah i have to add cd sudo cd for this you can add cd no file such directory so let's see what happens file store and if i click on ls you can see we have is that is vm dbtest dbtest 13 and we have to what we have to do is that we have to place this file store right inside the i'll just do one thing you can see in the terminal what error is getting is db test to restore db test to restore so i'll just rename this file store as db test restore and i will move this file inside i'll just open new terminal and sudo mv db test restore i have to move it to file store and i will find my password you can see that has been moved inside so now i will just restart the service so we cancel and if i restart the service okay that's done and let's see what we get if i re reload the page so we have copied the file store from the folder you can see the ui error has been gone you can see right now we are getting proper indentation and if i log into the database you can see there is no any issues all that modules that is here we have sales point of sale inventory invoicing and as more total one two three four five six seven minutes are here inside that restore database and let's see what is there inside the original database that is db test so i'll copy i'll open the same database sorry i will op op i will open the original database and inside the original database we have same menus discuss sales point of sale inventory invoicing apps and settings so what we have done is last step is we have just copied a file store from the original folder that is here once we download the file store we got uh, file store here that is file store i just renamed that file store into the database name and i have moved it inside to this folder that is if i go to the file charm we got an error message that there is no mm -hmm. file stores 
so i just copied that into the file store folder so that's all about how you can restore the database using command line using a dumb.sql file so if you like our videos and if you like our channel is helpful you can just subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for notification regarding new videos thank you